Have you ever struggled to get the stuff done that you know full well you should be doing in order to get ahead in life or in order to reach that goal that you've set for a long, long while, but you just don't seem to be able to get it done? Then stick around. In this video and in a couple more, I'm going to share an understanding of that, but then I'm also going to share a whole bunch of practical stuff that you can start doing to actually get the right kind of shit in your life done so that you can progress. Hi guys, I'm Joak Snayman and I make videos to help you create a more secure future for you and your family by means of some form of a side income or a side hustle and that in this case is, a, is an internet business. Right, let's get right into the content for today. If you've ever felt like You've got this almost this kind of a little list in the back of your mind if you haven't gotten written down that there's a couple of things that you know you should be doing and that can relate to your relationships your wealth your health your general life approach it can relate to any aspect of your life but you just don't seem to be able to get that done you know you need to do it but you don't do it right there's like some resistance or some barrier that prevents you from doing that then let's unpack that, understand that, and let me give you some practical pointers. I've been struggling with that, feel sometimes like my entire life, but it's been a long, long while. Now, I've tried the works, right? I've tried willpower, I've tried inspiration, I've tried motivation, I've tried goal setting, little goals, medium goals, big goals, you name it, I've tried that, right? I've even tried habits, changing habits. What I've realized in this process, and this is all based on this book written by James Clear called Atomic Habits. And then there's another reference I also want to give you a little bit later on, but let's leave that. Uh, habits, I've also looked at that, but I've clearly realized now that I've been changing habits the wrong way. Okay, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. All of those issues, motivation, for example, doesn't last. Okay, so it doesn't get you over the finish line. It doesn't keep you going. There's, there's different things that you've got to start doing, guys. I've been studying change. I've worked in the space of change in the corporate environment for many, many years. And I've continually asked myself, how do human beings change, right? I've got to the conclusion that there's essentially three drivers that will make you change, right? Three things, either trauma. So you hit a pole with your car or you get some bad diagnosis in terms of your health or somebody close to you passes away, trauma, life trauma, right? The second thing is divine intervention. And that literally is what it is, okay? So you have some spiritual experience and something happens and all of a sudden you change, right? So it's trauma, divine intervention. The third one is by conscious choice. In other words, you do an analysis of your life, for example, you draw the red line at the bottom of the page, you come to a conclusion, you make a choice right? Those are the three instances or drivers when human beings change. Trauma speaks for itself. Normally people start changing through that, but even that is challenging. Divine intervention, same story. It's a huge intervention normally, and you start changing. The most difficult way is once you've done the analysis of your life and you now know where you want to go, you make a conscious choice to change. That's the most difficult way of changing, but that's what we're busy with here, right? There's then three things you can change, also in terms of habits. You can either change the output or the result, in other words, you focus on the goal, or you can change the process by which you achieve that outcome or results. And the third thing that you can focus on changing is your identity. And for me, there the penny dropped, guys. That's what I realized. I've been trying to change habits from an output or a result perspective. Habits only change once you start changing your identity i.e. your belief, your mindset, the core of you. That's when you really start changing. How do you get lasting change in life? There's only one way, and that is by changing your identity or by changing your belief. James Clear in his book says, you mustn't start writing, you must become a writer or a painter or whatever that characteristic is that you want to develop in yourself as a human being. There's another book I want to refer you to that's written by Alan Deutschman. It's called Change or Die. It's a real um, hard hitter. He talks about change specifically and he looked at three groupings of people. He looked at ex-convicts, he looked at uh, heart attack patients, and he looked at business in general, right? And he took samples of all of those three groups. He did all the, all the research. Bottom line is, even with heart patients, when they've had a heart attack and they now know that they need to change their lifestyle that change lasts for roughly a year, okay? So that's why I'm saying, changing anything in your life 
you have to look at the identity or the mindset or the core of you if you really want to cause lasting change. How do you do that change? There's a myriad of modalities if you want. You can use NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. You can use what Tony Robbins calls NAC, Neuro Associative Conditioning, based on NLP. You can use things like tapping. You can use hypnosis. You can use meditation. If you're brave enough, you can use plant medicine, or you can use a combination of all of those, right? So my advice there to you is find the process or the modality that works for you. If tapping works for you, go for it. If meditation works for you, go for it. You have to make a choice there and you have to identify that part of your identity that you want to change and then just simply start changing it, right? My theory in terms of change and human beings change, you make a choice, but then you behave yourself into a new set of beliefs. You behave yourself into a new set of beliefs. So what I'm saying by that is you've made a choice. You now repeat and you continue until that aspect of you becomes a part of who you are. Okay. It's that simple, guys. Simple, but not easy. Right. Just remember that small changes on a daily basis, the whole principle of a 1% change per day or per week or per month, that those small incremental changes it's almost like a big ship with a rudder at the back that changes direction or an airplane that flies for a long, long distance. Uh, a half a degree or a degree difference in the direction of the nose of the airplane or the, or the bow of the ship will make a huge difference in terms of where you end up. So it's the same for your life. Interesting observation from James Clear's book is that habits are the compound interest of personal development. So all of this struggling with getting those things done that you know you should be done doing boils down guys to changing your habits and you need to change the habits in the right way which means it doesn't help you just look at output doesn't help you look at process you've got to look at both those things as well but you've got to realize that you have to change habits by means of changing your identity and that's where the damn hard work comes in so i believe it's worth paying attention to this whole concept of habits changed by means of changing your identity. I've got a question for you. What is the gap between who you are right now and who you know you could be? That ideal picture of yourself in the future? What is the gap between where you are right now and who you know you could be? That gap, guys, let's be honest here for a moment, that gap is wasted potential it is the source, the main source of most of your stress and concern and worry. And it, it, also, it is also going to be the cause of, in a previous video I spoke about this, those regrets that you're going to have on your deathbed. Have a look at that gap and determine for yourself whether it's worth your while to maybe spend a little bit of time on changing habits by means of changing your identity or your mindset, the fundamental core of who you are. So. If you make this your mission to change and optimize and actually get that shit done that you know you should be doing, then as a first step, go and list your habits, both the good ones and the bad ones, and include the bad ones on there, guys. If you're stuck on uh, junk food or if you smoke like I do, that's a bad habit, okay? Write it on that list and let's see how we can take that in the and, and change it and optimize that whole structure of your life. In the next couple of videos, I'm gonna explore habits as a concept further. And I'm gonna give you some practical pointers and the process I will share with you. I'll also share with you what modality I've been using to actually start changing those habits of mine.